that are developing, and these Prim develop into these. You said primordial? So, primordial follicles, that first one, primordial. See, these are follicles. Primordial follicles will develop into a primary follicle, and then this is my secondary follicle, which is bigger and has this anthrum. Has this anthrum, which is my fluid field space. And then this huge one is called the graphene follicle. And then you have this large fluid field space right here, which is the anthrum again. <coughs> So, so we have the, the primordial mm -hmm. the primary develops. Primordial develops into primary mm -hmm. and then primary becomes secondary. Mm -hmm. And this is the graphene. And the graphene is what releases the mature egg. This is your mature egg here being released. So it's showing you day 14 ovulation and then once that is released this follicle is ruptured and so that follicle becomes this follicle this is your artritic follicle or if you turn on the back you'll see a word that says corpus albicans I mean corpus hemorrhagicum corpus hemorrhagicum and artritic follicle is the same thing so when this ovulates it ruptures this follicle and it becomes this, my corpus hemorrhagicum or artritic follicle. And then this will actually become this, corpus luteum. And the corpus luteum, if you become pregnant, will maintain your pregnancy. So basically what it's doing is keeping your progesterone levels high so the endometrial lining won't slough off. Because if you're pregnant, you can't be shedding anything. You can't shed no lining. Not supposed to see blood. Not supposed to be getting no spotting. No spotting. That this will keep that progesterone levels very, very high where you won't slough off. And it'll maintain the pregnancy until what? The placenta can take over. And it takes the placenta about two weeks to get going. To really get, you know, because it's got to do that construction work first. And then after it does the construction work, then it's ready to work. And then after that, this will degenerate. It'll atrophy. So when you're doing the pregnancy test, you're testing for what? HCG. This will secrete HCG, this corpus luteum. And that means you're pregnant. Then when the placenta takes over, the placenta secretes it, the HCG. Okay.